Hello children, welcome back to the another session on English literature. I hope you all are safe at home. So children, today I'm going to start with a new lesson that is lesson number 8, Mr. Sherlock Holmes, written by Sir Arthur Ignatius Conan Doyle. Before we proceed with the lesson, let's know about the author. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was a physician and a British writer who was more famous as a writer of detective fiction. He was the creator of one of the most famous detectives in the fictional world who stands up today in the line of Lan Fleming's James Bond. He was famously known for creating the fictional detective Sherlock Holmes. He was born on 22nd May 1859 in Edinburgh, Scotland and he died on July 7, 1930, Crowbrow, the United Kingdom. His works are considered as a milestone in the kind of detective fiction. This lesson is taken from the famous novel, The Hound of the Baskervilles. This chapter introduces two main characters of the story, Sherlock Holmes, the famous detective, and his close companion or colleague, Dr. John Watson. As the first person narrator, Dr. Watson reports the events of the novel. The reader sees the story through Watson's eyes. Okay children, now open page number 64 and go through the lesson. I picked up the stick which our visitor had left behind him the night before. It was a fine, thick piece of wood. Just under the head was a broad silver band nearly an inch across. To James Mortimer, MRCS, from his friends of the CCH, was engraved upon it with the date 1884. Well, Watson, what do you make of our visitor's stick? said Holmes, who was seated at the breakfast table. Since we have been so unfortunate as to miss him and have no notion of his errand, let me hear you reconstruct the man by an examination of it. Now let's go through the explanation. The story begins with an unknown visitor visits the house that Sherlock Holmes and John Watson share. As they were out, they couldn't meet the visitor. Now Sherlock Holmes is sitting in his baker's apartment with Dr. John Watson and the Watson is examining a walking stick which the visitor mistakenly left behind. Watson notices that it is made of nice wood and it has a band of silver under the handle. It was dedicated to James Mortimer MRCS from his friends of CCH upon which it was engraved. Engraved means carved on the surface of the hard object. It is engraved alongside with the date 1884. Holmes was seated at the breakfast table. Although he sits with his back to Watson, Holmes asks for Watson what he was making of the visitor stick. That means Sherlock Holmes is asking for Watson's conclusion about the visitor stick. Now Watson is very much surprised and amazed that how Holmes knew what he was doing, although he couldn't possibly see, because he was sit sitting with his back facing Watson. Holmes admits that he saw Watson's reflection in the coffee pot, and he asked Watson to reconstruct the character of James Mortimer from his stick. Holmes hopes that he can determine something about the visitor based on the scanty evidence provided by the walking stick. Here, unfortunate means unlucky, notion means desire, and errand means a short journey to deliver, buy, or collect something. Let's read further. I think, said I, following as far as I could the methods of my companion, that Dr. Mortimer is a successful elderly medical man, well esteemed, since those who know him give him this mark of their appreciation. Good, said Holmes. Excellent. I think also that the probability is in favor of his being a country practitioner who does a great deal of his visiting on foot. Why so? 
because the stick though originally a very handsome one has been so knocked about that i can hardly imagine a town practitioner carrying it the thick iron ferrule is worn down so it is evident that he has done a great amount of walking with it now on the suggestion of sherlock holmes dr watson starts reconstructing the character of james mortimer from his stick from the amount of wear and tear on the stick watson believes that dr mortimer is a successful elderly and well esteemed doctor esteemed refers to admired he further says that dr mortimer has received this stick as a gift from the people who know him and uh, they have given this as a mark of their appreciation Holmes compliments Watson's detective skill and speculation. Watson continues saying that he believes that Mortimer is an elderly country practitioner. Probability refers to the extent to which something is likely to happen. And he believes that he does most of his uh, traveling by foot. Watson also notes that Mortimer must be esteemed by his colleagues because the walking stick is well made and expensive looking and the head of the band is made of silver in addition he says that the thick iron ferrule ferrule refers to a ring or a cap typically a metal one which strengthens the end of a handle the well worn stick implies a country practitioner who walks about quite a bit now let's read further perfectly sound said holmes and then again there is the friends of the cch i should guess that to be the something hunt the local hunt to whose member he has possibly given some surgical assistance and which has made him a small presentation in return really watson you excel yourself said holmes pushing back his chair he now took the stick from my hands and examined it for a few minutes with his naked eyes then with an expression of interest he lay down his cigarette and carrying the cane to the window he looked over it again with a convex lens there are certainly one or two indications upon the stick it gives us the basis for several deductions said he returning to his favorite corner of the city again holmes encourages watson watson continues and he says that cch is probably the mark of the something hut a local group to whom mortimer must have provided some surgical assistant for which they might have given him a small presentation in return holmes compliments watson by saying that he has underrated him then he took the stick from his hands and start examining the cane by himself then he carries the cane and goes close to the window and he looked over the stick again with the convex lens Holmes hopes that he can determine something about the visitor based on the scanty evidence provided by the walking stick. Now on the suggestion of Sherlock Holmes, Dr. Watson starts reconstructing the character of James Mortimer from his stick. From the amount of wear and tear on the stick, Watson believes that Dr. Mortimer is a successful, elderly and well esteemed doctor. Esteemed refers to admired he further says that dr mortimer has received this stick as a gift from the people who know him and uh, they have given this as a mark of their appreciation Now Watson asks Holmes whether all his deductions are correct. For that, Holmes says that most of his conclusions were wrong. Further, he says that 
Watson was correct in determining that Mortimer is a practitioner who walks a great deal. Holmes concludes that Mortimer received the stick as a gift from a hospital rather than a hunting club. He thinks it's far from likely that H in CCH stands for hospital. If that is true, then he believes that the hospital to be Charing Cross Hospital. For that, Watson asked, suppose if CCH doesn't stand for Charing Cross Hospital, what inference he may draw?